वेलकम टू आवर चैनल किरण कोलते बायोलॉजी एकेडमी तो इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर फ्रॉम द न्यू सिलेबस ऑफ ट्वेल्थ साइंस दैट इज रिप्रोडक्शन इन लोअर एंड हायर ऑर्गेनिजम्स तो बेसिकली इन दिस चैप्टर दिस चैप्टर इज मेनली बेस्ड ऑन द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन व्हिच इज टेक्स प्लेस इन लोअर एज वेल एज हायर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू सी अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन बिफोर दैट वी हैव टू सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन तो व्हाट इज अ रिप्रोडक्शन व्हाट इज इट रिप्रोडक्शन already we learn the process of reproduction in our 11th standard 8th 9th 10th standard so reproduction kya hai reproduction is the important characteristic of living organism by which we can differentiate living organism from non living things only living can reproduce reproduction kya hai the process by which any living organism produce two or more than two daughter individuals for example if there is a one cell the process by which this parent cell can produce two new daughter cell or more than that then that process is called as reproduction so what is the definition of reproduction the scientific definition of reproduction is like this it is a process by which any living organism produce new individuals or young ones of themselves so here the last word is important that is a themselves so why this word themselves is important because each and every living organism for example it may be dog it may be man it may be cat or bird or any plant for example mango tamarind jamun etc each and every living organism produce new individual similar to their parent sometimes 100% genetically similar or sometimes less than 100% genetically similar the new individuals sometimes they are showing some recombination the combinations of new character and sometimes the newly produced individuals are 100% genetically similar with their parent for example one activity that we are daily performing uh, routinely performing at our home why a multiplication of a rose plant normally we are using what a stem pieces if we are having a red flower producing rose plant so at that time to propagate or to multiply the rose plant normally we are using a stem pieces so for example if i obtain or collected 10 stem pieces from that one plant who is producing red flowers and when will give a favorable condition to all these 10 broken stem pieces so each and every stem piece give one one new daughter plant so these are newly formed 10 daughter individuals they are also going to produce a red color flower same like to their parent means here the newly formed 10 individuals and their parent they all are 100% genetically similar but those individuals are produced by the process of sexual reproduction they are not showing such a similar characters they are showing some variation and the example is human reproduction though we had taken the birth from our parent then also we are not similar with our mother and father we are not exactly similar with our sister same like our sister or same like our brother why due to recombination already this recombination which is takes place during the process of gamete formation during the first phase of meiosis that is meiosis 1 after during prophase Prophase 1, which is subdivided into leptotin, zygotin, diplotin, diaconis, and pagetin. During this process, the exchange of chromosomal segment has get takes place, and therefore the new combination of character will get takes place. And these, therefore, the new combined characters are responsible for bringing variation in offspring. Those are produced by the process of sexual reproduction. So, again, we'll come back to our topic. So, reproduction, kya hai, wo humne dekha. 
it is a process by which new uh, parent organism it may be same organ or organism produce a new individual similar to themselves for example dog give birth to puppy man give birth to baby mango plant is going to produce mango only not dawa or jamun or else so each and every living organism produce new individual similar to themselves unke jaisa hi so that is called as reproduction so next part kya hai types of reproduction so this is the basic introduction of this chapter the chapter is highly weighted it is a important chapter according to board point of view as well as according to cet and it. large number of questions are going to come from this chapter in cet exam as well as in neet exam and in your board exam hsc board exam maharashtra state board or cbs to so, bhi types of reproduction kya hai that we are going to see in next part so types of reproduction basically the reproduction types of reproduction reproduction is divided into two categories asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction asexual reproduction kya hai that we'll see first asexual a means without the reproduction which is takes place without the involvement of sex cell usme sex cell ki zarurat nahi hai sex cell yani kya gametes those cells are having only one set of chromosome and are produced from diploid cell inside in the sex organ they are called as gametes so in a sexual reproduction there is no any need of sex cell there is no any need of sex organ sex organ and sex cells are not required uski zarurat nahi hai sex cell ki aur sex organ ki but here in sexual reproduction sexual reproduction require both it require both sex cell and sex organ so sex cell just now i told sex cell kya hai gamete hai aur sex organ kya hai if you are talking about plant sex organs are androecium is a male sex organ and gynoecium is a female sex organ that we already learn in 11th standard or in our school days so androecium and gynoecium are the male and female sex organ in plant and testis and ovary are the sex organ in animals so these sex cells and sex organs are required by the for the process of sexual reproduction second difference kya hai in our sexual reproduction only one parent is in one here only one parent is in one therefore it is called as यूनी पैरेंटल टाइप ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इसको कहा यूनी पैरेंटल यूनी पैरेंटल टाइप ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन ब्रास इन सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन टू पैरेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू पैरेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड दो पैरेंट की जरूरत है एक मदर एंड सेकंड वन फादर तो दिस सिंबल इज यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट व्हाट फीमेलनेस एंड दिस सिंबल इज यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट मेलनेस to male and female two partners are required means two parents are required for the process of sexual reproduction therefore it is called as a bi parental process bi parental process third difference kya hai to whatever new individuals are produced by the process of asexual reproduction asexual reproduction se jo kuch bande jo kuch individuals taiyar hone wale they are 100% genetically similar with their parents so therefore they are called as clones so whatever new individuals are produced by the process of asexual reproduction they are called as clones now this term is important what is clone important for one mark question to so clone kya hai so clones are the group of individuals those who are showing a 100% genetically similar character those who are showing 100% genetically similar character such a group of individual are called as clones or the group of individual produced by the process of asexual reproduction that is called as clones so opposite in sexual reproduction the group of individuals produced by the process of sexual reproduction jo individual bante hain individual produced by the process of sexual reproduction 
उनको क्या कहेंगे रिकॉर्ड एज अफरिंग इनको अलग तरह नहीं कर इधर जो नए इंडिविजुअल्स बन रहे हैं उनको कहा है ऑफरिंग और इधर जो नए इंडिविजुअल बन रहे हैं इनको कहा है क्यों उनको बिकॉज दे आर हंड्रेड परसेंट जेनेटिकली सिमिलर एंड हियर ऑफरिंग वाई बिकॉज दे आर शोइंग सम वेरिएशन दे आर शोइंग वेरिएशन तो वेरिएशन क्या है इसका भी डेफिनेशन इधर क्लियर कर देते हैं वेरिएशन द डिफरेंसेस प्रेजेंट अमॉन्ग द इंडिविजुअल्स ऑफ सेम स्पेसिस वॉट यूर डिफरेंसेस आर प्रेजेंट अमॉन्ग द इंडिविजुअल ऑफ सेम स्पेसिस दैट इज कॉल एज वेरिएशन तो वेरिएशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल कलर स्किन कलर सम आर फेयर सम आर हैविंग फेयर स्किन सम आर हैविंग लाइटर स्किन सम आर हैविंग मीडियम सम आर मिलेटो सम आर लाइट ब्राउन सम आर डार्क ब्राउन एंड सम आर डार्क इज ब्राउन तो आई कलर भी लेते हैं तो सम आर हैविंग ब्लैक आई कलर सम आर हैविंग ब्राउन आई कलर सम आर हैविंग वॉट ग्रीन ब्ल्यू तो दीज आर द वेरिएशन आई कलर इज अ कॉमन कैरेक्टर एंड द डिफरेंसेज इन दिस कैरेक्टर दैट इज कॉल इज वॉट वेरिएशन If you are talking about height, tall, dark, intermediate, etc. So these are the variation. So offspring are showing what variation. So <coughs> in last, we we'll see the examples of asexual reproduction. Examples of asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is again divided into some subtypes. So that we we'll see first. All these concepts are important. If your concepts are clear, then definitely you can score good marks in your board exam as well as in your competitive exam. So main thing क्या है? Understanding of concept. Types of co-sexual reproduction. So <laughs> according to new revised syllabus of HSC board. Which is now same like to that of CBSC. So CBSC का and HSC का syllabus same है. Only the difference is what? Print. Print difference is there. नहीं तो concept क्या होने वाले? Same होने. So types of reproduction. The first one fragmentation. So we are going to study only definition and one two examples. Fragmentation is second क्या है? Fusion. third one is body fourth one is spore evolution so these are the four main types first one fragmentation second one fusion third one body and fourth one is spore evolution so fragmentation kya for example if i draw one uh, filament of spirogyra over here spirogyra it is one algal filament Mostly the asexual asexual reproduction reproduction is 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 seen in lower organism like algae, fungi and and bacteria. And sexual reproduction is mostly seen in higher organisms like evolved plants and evolved animals like mammals and and just one you know so they are showing what sexual reproduction. <coughs> so in a primary or in lower organism we can mostly see the asexual reproduction. The first क्या है fragmentation. तो इधर हमने लिया क्या है स्पायरोगा का एक फिलामेंट लेते हैं स्पायरोगा का एक अलगल फिलामेंट है Naturally or accidentally, if this parent filament has get broken down into small small pieces or small smaller filaments, so under favorable condition, each and every filament, हर एक filament क्या करेगा? हर एक broken piece, जो छोटा छोटा टुकड़ा है, that each and every broken piece under favorable condition give rise a new individual. So this is called what? Fragmentation. So same like for same for fungi. So when a parent body has get broken down into pieces, उसके टुकड़े टुकड़े होते हैं. और हर एक टुकड़ा क्या करेगा? नया individual develop करेगा. That is called what? Fragmentation. Second क्या fusion? Fusion means what? Division. What is the synonym for fusion? What is synonym? Synonym यानी similar word. Fusion यानी division. If the parent cell has get divided into equally divided into two cell. अगर दो सेल में डिवाइड फॉर एग्जांपल लाइक दिस हियर इज द वन सेल ये तो पेरेंट सेल डिवाइड इनटू टू पार्ट नाउ वन इज स्मॉलर एंड वन इज बिगर इट इज ओनली फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इमेजिन दिस टू पीसेस आर सेम 
साइज एंड शेप ये तो पेरेंट सेल डिवाइड इक्वली इनटू टू डॉटर सेल और पार्ट देन दैट इज कॉल्ड एस व्हाट बाइनरी फ्यूजन दैट इज कॉल्ड एस बाइनरी फ्यूजन इट इज मोस्टली सीन इन अ प्रोटोजोन्स लाइक अमीबा पैरामेशियम अमीबा में क्या होता है फॉर एग्जांपल इज दिस अमीबा पैरेंट अमीबा इट डिवाइड इक्वली इनटू टू डॉटर अमीबा तो इधर क्या होता है पैरेंट बॉडी डिवाइड होती है इट्स इट विल गेट स्प्लिट into two part therefore it is called as what binary fusion why we buy that because two daughter cells are going to get produced from the parent cell or parent organism therefore it is called binary fusion ye example likhna hai idhar amoeba a m o e b a amoeba and paramecium इधर बहुत सारे हैं पैरामेशियम नेक्स्ट वन इज बड़ी बड़ी हमने बहुत सारे बार देखा है बड़ी इन हाइड्रा तो हाइड्रा में क्या होता है हाइड्रा इज वन एक्वेटिक लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म तो हाइड्रा में क्या होता है बर्ड बर्ड यानी क्या रहता है स्मॉल आउटग्रोथ और प्रोट्रिपरेंस स्मॉल आउटग्रोथ और प्रोट्रिपरेंस हैज गेट डेवलप ऑन द बॉडी ऑफ पैरेंट सेल और पैरेंट ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड इट ग्रो After attaining some maturity, after completion of their maturity, that a fully grown outgrowth will get detached from the parent body and start growing as one complete new individual. So in our syllabus, they have given one example. That is a budding in yeast. Yeast क्या है? Yeast is a unicellular fungi. Yeast क्या है? Yeast is a unicellular fungi. तो दिस यूनिसेला इन द ऑन दिस यूनिसेला फंजे दिस वन सेल न्यूक्लियस है वन साइटोप्लाज्म है ऑन दिस पैरेंट सेल अ स्मॉल आउटग्रोथ हैज गेट डेवलप ऑन द पैरेंट सेल एंड इट स्टार्ट ग्रोइंग इन साइज उसका साइज बढ़ना है बढ़ने लगता है तो व्हेन दिस अ न्यूली फॉर्म आउटग्रोथ अटेन अ मैच्योरिटी इट विल गेट डिटैच फ्रॉम द पैरेंट सेल एंड स्टार्ट ग्रोइंग एज अ न्यू इंडिविजुअल तो फाइनली ऐसे बहुत सारे वन टू थ्री फोर मेनी न्यू इंडिविजुअल्स आर प्रोड्यूस इन अ चेन ऑन अ यूनिसेल्ला पंजा इज तो दिस इज वॉट इज वॉट बड़ी तो दिस बर्ड्स कंटिन्यूसली एड न्यू न्यू इंडिविजुअल्स इन द सराउंडिंग एन वन लास्ट वन क्या है स्पोरोल्यूशन स्पोरोल्यूशन इज ऑल्सो सीन इन lower plants like algae and fungi so in our textbook they had only mentioned or they had given only one example that is of clamidomonas so one statement you have to add there where they had given the description for sporulation sporulation care the reproduction or sexual reproduction which is takes place by means of a formation of स्पोर्स अगर स्पोर्स से रिप्रोडक्शन हो रहा है तो उसको कहेंगे स्पोरोल्यूशन तो स्पोर्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स इफ द स्पोर्स आर हैविंग प्रोवाइडेड विद लोकोमोटरी ऑर्गन देन दे आर कॉल्ड एज प्लानो स्पोर्स और जू स्पोर्स एंड इफ दे आर नॉट प्रोवाइडेड विद लोकोमोटरी ऑर्गन दे आर कॉल्ड एज प्लानो स्पोर्स मोस्टली अलगी लाइक क्लाइमेटोमोनास अलगी लाइक क्लाइमेटोमोनास द रिप्रोडक्शन इज टेक्स प्लेस बाय प्रोड्यूसिंग लार्ज नंबर ऑफ मोटाइल स्पोर्स सच स्पोर्स आर कॉल्ड एज झू स्पोर्स झू स्पोर मीन्स दे आर प्रोवाइडेड विथ फ्लैजला फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर इट इज अ क्लाइमेटोन सेल द क्लाइमेटोन सेल हु इज अ प्रोवाइडेड विथ अ कप शेप ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट न्यूक्लियस एंड साइटोप्लाजम अंडर फेवरेबल कंडीशन दी इज अ क्लाइमेटोन दी सेल विच इज ऑलरेडी प्रोवाइडेड विथ अ ट्रू फ्लैजला तो ये फेवरेबल कंडीशन में क्या करेगा It produces large number of motile spores. So, हर एक spore को क्या हो गए? वो दो-दो flagella हो गए. Flagella है ना hair-like outgrowth रहते हैं. Those who help in swimming. So, after the formation, they will get a disperse into the surrounding environment and they start growing as a new individual. That is called as what? स्पोर फॉर्मेशन इन क्लैमेडो मोनॉस इट इज अ वन 
तो क्लाइमेटोमिनस में क्या होता है रिप्रोडक्शन फोर फॉर्मेशन से तो हियर वी हर सीन द बेसिक टाइप्स ऑफ अर्थ एक्शन रिप्रोडक्शन स्टिल टू आर एमिन द नेक्स्ट वन इज वॉट वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन एंड द लास्ट वन विच इज आर्टिफिशियल मेथड ऑफ वेजिटेटिव आर्टिफिशियल मेथड ऑफ अर्थ एक्शन रिप्रोडक्शन दैट इज अ टिश्यू कल्चर विच इज कॉमनली कॉल एस माइक्रो प्रोपोगेशन तो वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन दैट विल सी नाउ वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन प्रोपोगेशन यानी क्या है प्रोपोगेशन यानी मल्टीप्लीकेशन इफ द मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज टेक्स प्लेस विद हेल्प ऑफ वेजिटेटिव पार्ट वेजिटेटिव पार्ट क्या है आइदर विद हेल्प ऑफ स्टेम और रूट और लीव अगर रिप्रोडक्शन इन तीनों में से किसी एक से हो रहा है प्लांट में आइदर With help of stem, either with the help of root or either with the help of leaf, then that type of reproduction is called as vegetative reproduction or vegetative propagation. So, for example, stem in rose, potato, bryophyllum, the reproduction is takes place with the help of stem. Leaf me kitha rota hai? Sense area, bryophyllum. मराठी में उसको बोलते हैं पान फुटी ब्रह्म कमल सर्च प्लांट सॉरी सर इन सर्च प्लांट रिप्रोडक्शन इज टेक्स प्लेस विद ऑफ लीव ब्रायोफाइलम इन ब्रायोफाइलम रिप्रोडक्शन इज टेक्स प्लेस विद ऑफ लीव एंड रूट इन मुराया स्पेसी मुराया यानी करीब्स इन करीब्स रिप्रोडक्शन इज टेक्स प्लेस विद ऑफ रूट स्वीट पोटैटो ऑल्सो स्वीट पोटैटो इन स्वीट पोटैटो रिप्रोडक्शन इज टेक्स प्लेस विद हेल्प ऑफ रूट तो दिस इज अबाउट द वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन ना आर्टिफिशियल मेथड ऑफ वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन थ्री टर्म्स दे आर गिवन इन आवर सिलेबस वन इज कटिंग सेकेंड वन इज बडिंग एंड थर्ड वन इज क्राफ्टिंग We are going to study only the definition of these three terms. So cutting, what is any detached portion? Cutting any detached portion of stem, root, or leaf under favorable condition. If that detached portion give new individual or new plantling, then that process is called as cutting. Either it is called as if you are using a stem, then it is called stem cutting. If you are using a leaf, then it is called as leaf cutting. And if you are using a root, then it is called as root cutting. Any detached portion which is used as a explant to produce new individual, that is called as cutting. For example, this picture is showing stem cutting in a rose. Stem cutting in rose. Mostly. Farmers are using a small, small pieces of potato tuber. Those who are provided with either one or two eyes, eyes, क्या रहते हैं? Axillary buds. To produce or to take a large scale production of or for large scale cropping, they are using the small, small pieces of potato stem tuber. That is also one example, best example of stem cutting. दूसरा क्या है ग्राफ्टिंग इट इज अन आर्ट ऑफ ज्वाइनिंग टू पार्ट्स ऑफ टू डिफरेंट प्लांट टूगेदर आफ्टर ज्वाइनिंग बोथ प्लांट ग्रो एज वन न्यू इंडिविजुअल दैट इज कॉल्ड एस ग्राफ्टिंग तो ग्राफ्टिंग में दो चीजें इंपॉर्टेंट है वन इज स्टॉक एंड द सेकेंड वन इज सायन तो स्टॉक क्या है The stalk is a wild plant on which we are performing grafting. So, for example, if one plant who is producing a wild or inferior qualities of fruit and flower, कोई तो भाई एक wild species है उसको अच्छे फूल फल नहीं आ रहे, उसको क्या कहेंगे हम inferior quality plant. उसके ऊपर हम क्या करने वाले grafting करें. तो the plant on which we are going to perform a grafting. Grafting means we are going to insert a New stem piece, a new bud, and that plant is uh, provided with their own uh, root uh, system. The plant which is uh, pro provided with own uh, root system, or the plant 
which is having their own root ball on which we are going to perform a grafting that is called as stalk and the second the stem piece which is obtained from other superior plant which is inserted on the stalk and which is going to produce a superior qualities of fruit and flower that is called as scion that is called as what scion so there are different types of grafting which is not included in our syllabus there are for example tongue grafting tongue grafting approach grafting whip grafting wedge grafting etc so idhar do cheeze kya hai one is scion and one is stalk this is grafting budding is also one type of grafting in budding the scion is in the form of small bud so it is mostly used to produce a large number of flowers large number of different color flowers on a same plant so here in budding the stalk remains same here is the stalk and scion which we use for budding it is in the form of small bud which is uh, obtained from other superior variety so here scion kya hai scion it is in the form of small bud <laughs> agar scion small bud hai along with a small piece of bark and if such a small piece of bark with the bud inserted on the stalk then that type of grafting is called as budding that type of grafting is called as what budding this is clear and the last part of this today's lecture that is a micro propagation micro propagation is the last type of artificial method of vegetative propagation so micro propagation kya hai that we have to see finally micro propagation so micro propagation again the same word here propagation means multiplication if the multiplication micro plus multiplication micro kya hai micro is a small small thing if the reproduction is takes place or done by using a small thing wo kya hai either cell or organ if you are using a single cell to produce a entire new living organism when you are going to grow a single cell on a nutrient medium under control aseptic condition then that process is called as micro propagation simply the one common word which is mostly used for this process that is a tissue culture the tissue culture is called as micro propagation growing <coughs> single cell inside in the glass test tube or on a petri dish or on a conical flask on a nutrient medium to obtain entire new living organism means the technique of multiplying a growing plant inside glass test tube it is a one in vitro technique so that is a micro propagation micro propagation kya hai it is a process of multiplication of plant by multiplying single cell or organ or by growing single cell or organ on a nutrient medium under a septic condition inside in the lab to produce entire new living organism okay. uh, from this today's <coughs> thought section if you are having any difficulty so in upcoming videos we are going to cover more and more syllabus of all the board that is cbsc and hsc along with we are going to cover neat syllabus and cet syllabus if you like my video then definitely you subscribe my channel again i'll tell you we started a new channel only for 
द फ्यूचर ऑफ ब्राइट इंडिया ज्या विद्यार्थ्यांना बाहेर क्लासला जाणे शक्य नाही आहे त्यांच्यासाठी घरी बसून युट्यूबवर बायोचं चांगलं मार्गदर्शन मिळावं टू क्लिअर देअर कन्सेप्ट वी स्टार्टेड दिस चॅनल ओनली फॉर सच स्टुडंट्स आय वॉन्ट टू स्प्रेड द व्हॅल्युएबल नॉलेज ऑफ बायोलॉजी विच इज आय एम हॅविंग दॅट आय वॉन्ट टू स्प्रेड दिस नॉलेज इन द अपकमिंग जनरेशन ऑफ इंडिया तो आवर चॅनल इज किरण कोलते बायोलॉजी अकॅडमी ओनली फॉर बायो स्टुडंट्स दोज हू वॉन्ट टू डू अ गुड फ्युचर और गुड करियर इन बायोलॉजी टू क्लिअर देअर कन्सेप्ट वी स्टार्ट इज दिस चॅनल सो सबस्क्राईब टेल युअर फ्रेंड्स टेल युअर फॅमिली मेंबर्स अँड सम रिलेटिव्ह टू सबस्क्राईब दिस चॅनल अँड स्कोअर गुड मार्क्स इन बायो बेस्ट ऑफ लक थँक्यू व्हेरी मच